What's going on, everybody? It is Pardon the Ignorance podcast. We're back again this week. Um, and in typical Pardon the Ignorance fashion, I don't know, man. We're kind of whatever. Shit ain't running the way it should, but it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. We'll work through it. We'll work through it. Um, yeah. I see you got a haircut, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, good for you. I get I go every two and a half weeks, so my hair doesn't no. really change. No, it doesn't. Um, I've decided I'm not going to cut my hair again until July. No. No, me, not you. No, nah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see it grow out one more time. I'm just kidding, dude. I don't get a haircut after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do the typical, uh, well, I want to say German thing, but some older German guys like to grow their hair out to yeah put it in a man bun or whatever but uh that's not gonna happen yeah see, know, chris said go for the man bun chris no. did say go for the man bun you know what would actually be a lot cooler um instead of the man bun like i know like you're not having a whole lot of problems up here Mm-mm. but go for the ponytail but then shave just like this like so it's just on the sides and the back so you have a bald man pony hmm uh yeah i'm not gonna do that dude it sounds That'd like awesome. it could be a good time it could be a good time it'd be hot it'd be a good time uh yeah i'm I'm just not gonna do that that's good no. my hair grows pretty fast too yeah um not, not my beard i haven't shaved this in probably four or five months so it takes forever the last episode we had i had a full beard mm-hmm. um i shaved it completely off a few days ago and it's already Coming in pretty good again. Coming in pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um, yeah, like you said, I don't, you know, people weren't hearing this before. You got to be on the Twitch stream to hear the before talk. But um, we do have the uh, Twitch open, and uh, Chris is on there. Um, can't come on because he's eating. Um, but I don't believe that he's eating. I don't believe you. I don't either. Uh, in no way. Picks or it didn't me. happen. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you know, he told us he was also gaining weight. Yeah, I don't buy it. Like you said in the WhatsApp group, you don't believe it. I, I don't either. Yeah. Um, you know, she just doesn't want to feed him. I don't know what the deal with that is. Scared of him getting big and strong. I don't know. But, um, you know, you know, you know, thoughts and prayers, really. Yeah. That's all, we can, that's all we can do here. That's all we can do. I mean, we try to invite him over so we can feed him, but he, he never gets out of the house, so except work and uh god bless him man that's all i could say thoughts and prayers thoughts, thoughts and, and prayers, prayers. <laughs> that's all we can. Uh, <laughs> speaking speaking of thoughts and prayers uh something that came up that i thought was interesting uh they extended once again the student loans uh in america so if any of our people listening have student loans no no interest on those student loans again and no payments required until it looks like may wow um, yeah, so that being the case, uh, of course, people have started the rhetoric up again about um, just, you know, forgiving people's loans. What do you feel about that, Bobby? Um, to be honest with you, I think it's something that could have been done a while ago. I mean, I get it. College, like even the state schools, they're so fucking expensive. Yeah, they are. Um. But a lot of programs, you can't compare them to how it is here in Europe and stuff Mm. like that. So I get it. There are more extravagant expenses. But a lot of these prices, man, they're fucking ridiculous. Mm. It is insane. Yeah. Um, And there's been a a whole bunch of studies done about, you know, I hear people complaining like, oh, I paid my student loans off. You're going to pay me back for that? You know, it's kind of it's kind of the silly thought process about, well, if I didn't get to do it, then you don't get to do it. You know, it's yeah. You know, but you got people who have been paying on their student loans for years and they still, they actually owe more now than they did when they started. Yeah. Which with, is crazy. With the interest and everything, it is really crazy, man. Um, yeah. Oh God, I forget. Yeah. But college isn't cheap. <laughs> no, no, but I, they've done studies that said if they, the government just ate those loans, there'd be so much more free money in the economy that the economy would take off again. Yeah. Because people would actually be able to buy homes. Um, things like that exactly they can start their lives a lot earlier 
because a typical college graduate, like it, once you graduate college, you're not really, you're not that first year. You're not buying a house. No. You're not starting a family just because there, you have no financial independence at no. all whatsoever. Zero. So you basically like going to college. I understand it furthers you in life. However, it also sets you back quite a number of years in the States as far as that's if, concerned. If you don't have somebody paying your bill. If you're exactly. Loans for it. Exactly. Um, I think people also have to be smart in the degrees that they decide to use. Um, you know, if you're also putting a hundred thousand dollars in student loans on a philosophy degree, it's probably not the smartest life decision that you're ever going to make. No. Um, it's also, it's also a thing about just, and I hate old people who jump on there and it, you know, you look in the comments on Facebook, which is the worst shit to do. Um, but you look in there like, well, I, I worked hard and paid off my college while I was going to college. Bitch, your fucking college cost three rusty nickels and a fucking dime. You know, you went to school back when the Nixon administration, I'm sorry, prices have changed a bit. I don't oh, know if yeah. you're up to date on that, but you know, you can't work a side job and pay for your school. It's not possible. It's just no. not possible. No. Um, well, it depends. It depends. Um, if you're going to a state school or a private school, no fucking way. However, there are a lot of community colleges where you could yeah. definitely go get a degree you by working that. something on the side. That is absolutely possible. We're in agreement. Well, as long as you decide to go to a community college where you're from. I mean, once you start exactly. going to out-of-state community colleges, then we're talking yeah. different. Why exactly. do you do that? I don't know. But some people... I've do. never even heard of that. <laughs> it's like, I, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> or I just, I just wish people would be a little more smart about the degree you take. Yeah. I just, I sometimes, you know, an English literature degree, a master's in English lit when you're taking nothing but loans out probably isn't the best life choice. Or if you're going to be a lawyer or a doctor, I get it. Eventually you'll probably make enough coin to be, you know, if you, you know, have the right job career path, you might have enough coin to pay it back. But I just, just, just at this point, you know, just either put the tip in or put the whole piece in or take it out, you know, just, Stop with the pity patch shit. Oh, let's extend it another three months. Extend another three months. And, you know, I saw another thing where people are like, well, now's the time to pay on it. Dude, if people are fucking struggling because of Corona and they don't have, you know, they, they don't have enough to get by now, what makes you think they're going to tuck away 300 euro or $300 to pay on a freaking student loan? That's the last of their worries. Yeah, no, there's no fucking way you can do it. No, just, just, I know it sucks, but write it off at this point. Change the system. You know, stop yeah, there has to be some kind of there has to be some kind of forgiveness, right? And it's the predatory interest rates that are horrible. It's like when the when the bubble happened and the fucking the housing bubble popped. It's the same thing. Yeah, you know, people, you know, got you know in over their heads, and they were promised one thing with banks, shit blew up, and now you're sitting there with no house, uh, shitty credit, and you know it's it's a shit shit spot. People don't read the fine print. Let's not all pretend like every time you you hit agree when Apple comes out with a new agreement that we're reading that whole agreement. Nobody's right. reading that shit. Nobody's reading that shit. No. So that's a, that's my that's my Dave ramble for the week. It's just something I saw that kind of popped out this week. When's that new STEMI coming? It says it's a new the stimulus. I need another stimulus. I can take another STEMI check. Fuck. I'm still waiting on my fucking tax return from last year, dude. You haven't got it yet? No. Oh. I called I called um the international line that's provided and they were like, mm -hmm. Yeah, man, there was something crazy. It got held up here for a little bit, but it all clear like it's good to go. I'm like, cool, but it's it's not, not <laughs> it's like according to your guys' status, like there's it's still being worked on. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Like Am I getting audited? Like, do I need to start yeah. preparing shit? And he's like, yeah. no, nah, man, you're all good. I'm like, okay. <laughs> he's like, but yeah. here's the, like, and that's something I didn't realize. Like, especially for us, for the international side, all that shit runs through Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, however, they're closed. And they have been for two years. So shit's just piling up in a garage and they just get like a couple cases at their home. Like I talked to the dude, I was on the phone with the dude for like 40 minutes and he was like, yeah, man, he was like, I'm looking at this shit. And he was watching on, um, he was just like at home chilling out on his mm -hmm. lanai and shit like that. Oh my God. Ah, Pam's in. 
Pam Pam. Uh, nobody, no. obviously, on the pod. Uh, I take it, but... it that she probably came on to yell at us. <laughs> About what? I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of pent up anger there. She. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chris is, you know, he's gotta, he's gotta tell her, he's gotta make sure he's, you know, stand strong. We can so do. for the audio only listeners, we are live streaming on Twitch right now for the second week in a row. Um, YouTube, you guys will see this. However, you will not see the chat. Um, Chris, you guys all know our dear little tiny Chris, who we all love and worry about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just fucking around we gotta set up a hotline for him where people call in and donate we like actually bucks. do dude it only takes two dollars to feed chris for a day that's all it does it takes two bucks to feed a chris for a day that's all it takes yeah so, so we'll get one of those little sad pictures of him <laughs> <laughs> and just play like a sarah mclaughlin song in the background and chris is just standing there holding the sign crying <laughs> Please, you sir, can by. I have some more? <laughs> yeah. You'll come by with a little soup ladle and put a little bit of soup in his bowl. <laughs> Pam is saying bullshit. Two dollars, no way. Well, with his cigarette habit. Yeah. So, God only knows. That guy goes through a pack a day, doesn't he? Jesus Christ. I used every, to go through a pack a day. Every time he comes on, we got to hold up the pod. We got to hold up the pod so we can go smoke one. <laughs> He's always like, ah, oh, Pam was on my nerves today. I gotta have a cig. So. <laughs> uh, we make a lot of jokes. Uh, yeah. We we make a lot of jokes. Pam is a lovely woman. Um, yeah, lovely wife. We're just joking. I think she feeds him. I think she, we should still set up the. I'm gonna just try to set it up. <laughs> I'm on it. You you guys know how I am with the fucking. Uh, photo editing (laughs) (laughs) i gotta go (laughs) do i gotta do i gotta like so pam obviously wrote in the chat um bob you go and suck a big bag of dicks um so actually it says me and i just want to (laughs) know do i gotta suck all of them do i like suck them all off or do i just gotta get them just you got to um, work them all, man. One after the other. That's really? usually the best way to go about it. Yeah. Um, you got to share the love. You know what I mean? Um, you started the biggest one first, or do you just like hold that off till the end? That's on you, man. I don't judge in that aspect, but have you ever been to a gangbang mid-pick last? Not no. fun. No, I wouldn't want to go last. Um, I think the only way fair way. Well, there, to- unfortunately, you might not have a choice sometimes. Like, you know, you come in and everybody's kind of like, you know, doing their thing. And she just goes, you, you, you can fuck off till everybody's done and I'm going home. And that's usually where we're sitting. Chris has been in a gangbang before. We should have, I can't wait till Chris comes back on. I got questions. Chris, you need to get on and tell us about that story. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he's discussed that with Pam before. So. <laughs> <laughs> we all know about the time at the unit. So, <clears throat> yeah, so. Yeah, man. So for me, this week has been actually work-wise pretty chill. Uh, uh, hey, Chris, do you mind not giving a uh, middle finger here in the chat? We like to keep it clean and respectable here on Pardon the Ignorance podcast. Yeah. Um, yeah. So hey, at work, it's been actually you know, it'd be easy. funny. Should I boot him from the live stream? <laughs> <laughs> you either come on the actual podcast or you get the fuck out of here. You make a choice. <laughs> there, there is this one time and we have a whatsapp group for uh this podcast where we try to line up like who's gonna be on or who's gonna you know who's able to do an episode for the week and kind of like what we're gonna talk about we just kind of like it's uh four of us it's dave chris our friend harold and myself and it's just the four of us and we just kind of banter back and forth and we just kind of line shit up uh one time I forget even what happened. Chris said something. I said, you know what? This is a respectable chat. And I fucking banned him from the group. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Little Chris. After like I said something horrendous. (laughs) Yes. Yes. It was was terrible. You know, he's good good spirited. 
actually, uh, Pam or Chris, anybody on the live stream that can hear us, um, how are we coming? How's the audio coming through? Does it sound good or is it coming in too hot? Because uh, I've been fucking with adjustments here off to the side. Okay, cool. Because last week uh, we were we were coming in a little hot. We were clipping pretty bad, so I made some more adjustments. Um, so is everybody ready for the holidays? This is actually um, I'll have this uploaded by Christmas Eve. So this is obviously on the twenty third of December. Um, definitely getting ready for the holidays. <clears throat> I think we all are. Yeah. I know I am. Can't wait to get it over with. The wife wasn't too happy with me today. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, you uh, want to get into it? I forget we're live on the pod, so maybe. Oh, don't I don't care, it. dude. So, Shorty Tanya. Sound is good. Thanks, first time chat. Thanks for, thanks for joining. Thanks for listening to us. Pam. Pam's the best. I can hear every word Dave says loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So today I got to work uh, just before eight o'clock and mm. like all our production, they get there between like six 30 and seven o'clock in the morning. And we come in like the sales office and everybody, like all the office people usually come in an hour later. I got it at seven 45 today fucking people were already hammered and i was like all right so i threw my shit in my office i went and made the rounds right dude by 8 15 this morning i had three shots and a beer in me <laughs> i was like this is not gonna go good that's that's kind of how you get the, the day off right though so it comes to my break at 9 30 in the morning and i brought homemade with me nice so we went we kept going a little hard. I called Mila. I'm like, yo, you got to come pick me up from work. She's like, now? I was like, I don't know, but it ain't looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, I got stuff to do. I took off extra. I'm like, that's not my problem. <laughs> Help me. Help me. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like what I miss about coming to the office because that was kind of how it was before Corona hit. Um Somebody would always bring something in. You know, you bring some homemade. What homemade stuff did you bring in? Uh, I had the homemade cognac. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, it's like a very sweet, it's a softer, it's uh, made from wild uh, sour cherries. Mm -hmm. But it's only like 40%. I give that to like a lot of the ladies and stuff like that. And then I had um, <laughs> this stuff made from, you know, fermented apples and pears that was at a fucking raging 87%. Right. And whoa. It smells so good. It tastes good at first, but then it goes down like a fucking a live rooster down your throat. <laughs> you know which one I like. Let me know when that's back up and running. The Mandarin? I have a whole oh. bunch of it. How dare you? How fucking dare you have that and not and not tell me and not offer me some. So that's actually something we do need to work on. Um is oh my god. What's up? Is that in the next uh, week or so, we need to really get this. Uh, we have to get together in person. Oh, my God. Chris, hey, what's up, man? Is he what's fucking up? chewing? Are you chewing food? <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> You're I still know. eating? <laughs> Someone paid that two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Great to oh, see gonna... you. Oh, you know it's coming too. You know it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good to see you, man. Was that your son's shirt, or did you? Is that your shirt? Oh my God, this is mine. <laughs> I'm so happy when she lets you wear clothes. I just <laughs> you're the only guy I know that you take your shirt off. I can see your rib cage, and it's just it's uncomfortable, man. It really is. It's, it's, <laughs> he likes to time? keep with family tradition. Remember that time I snuck you a biscuit and just kind of you were like, made you, you know, kind of covered you while you ate it? There's no chance, So man. now that Chris is on and we're live streaming this for the world, <clears throat> can we get canceled? <laughs> like, I, like, obviously, I know we can get canceled, but, like, can I really push for it? 
Mm. Chris, tell us your social security number. Yeah, no. <laughs> 282. <laughs> oh. What are you eating there, big guy? Corn dogs. Of mm. course you are. Of course you are. <laughs> hey, do you have like a one that isn't bitten into? How deep can you take that bad boy? No, is it like a mini. legit corn or is it the mini oh, corn dogs? They're awesome. all the mini ones. <laughs> Well, me and me and me and Bobby ain't much bigger than that. So how deep can you take that? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, no flex, I like it. I it. same length, but put two. <laughs> like it's the same length, but take two next to each other. Do you think you could take that, bro? That's not happening. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, man, it's for the pod. Nope. <laughs> I promise I won't. I promise I won't screenshot it. <laughs> 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 that's right dude phone was in hand <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Uh, you just you eat them without any sauce man what kind of savage are you they're good they're honey <laughs> why is why is your wife in the chat saying your gag reflex is really bad <laughs> <laughs> because of the fucking corona test dude i almost threw up <laughs> <laughs> my wife took it like a champ and i'm over there and they barely got in the throat and i'm like, right. it's like oh fuck oh, man. i went too i went too i swear to god i put my thumb in my mouth and i start gagging i told you i'd be the world's worst gay man i could only tip that's all i could do just Dude, be the just, just on the tip there's that's times fun. where i have a hard time brushing my teeth like i'll brush my teeth and get to the back i'm like eh. <laughs> But you gotta fight you gotta fight through it yeah did you say your wife was a champ <laughs> good for her good for her good for her good nice job well done that's what well, i was concerned about the other room <laughs> that's why i was concerned about the bag of dicks that i was instructed to suck off from your wife i it's gonna take a while because it's just tipping for me there's no <laughs> there's no throw action going on it's just gonna be a lot of a lot of beating off and a lot of spit. It's going to be a mess. You don't want to see that. Well, it, you got to get, you know, you get matted your beard. steps in. Did, hey, where's, where's, your, the where's your beard at? Where's your beard at? Where's your beard at? Where's your beard at? Dude, I'm on duty. Oh, you're in the military. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Start throwing out his fucking company name and shit. <laughs> No, I no. draw the line, man. He's a friend. No, no he's a friend. No. Are you are there any wars planned? <laughs> <laughs> right now, what do I have to be terrified of? Uh, did you get a booster shot yet? Like, other than my angry Russian wife, what kind of terrorism <laughs> do I have to really be on the lookout for? Right. Uh, how, well, how, do feel, the, how do you feel about it's our own government here where we live? What do you mean? What do you mean by that, Chris? <laughs> the next lockdown and everything that's coming? Oh, oh you're talking yeah. shit about Mama Miracle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama it's Miracle. not Miracle no more. <laughs> now it's, what is his name? Papa Schultz? Yeah, Papa Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. We don't uh, get a vote. We just get to pay taxes. And a lot of them. And a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing that really pisses me off. Like, okay. <laughs> I, I do understand it that since we're over, we're Americans over here, we're expatriates. However, if we're all working on a German economy for the most part, uh, why? And we pay taxes, we live on the German economy. Why can't we vote? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, no, no. Your opinion doesn't matter, but I'm still going to fucking take that 19% or more from every fucking breath you take. Bro, I look on that that printout you get every month of what you pay. Oh, and I think to myself, the it's amount disgusting. Loan steuer alone is more than some people make in a month. Yeah, like, I'm like, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Like motherfuckers taking like half my money away. Yeah, yeah. I remember it when is... I first got paid here. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, <laughs> like the deductions. Like I just got a raise. I went to my boss. I'm like, y'all fucked up because I'm not getting a whole lot more. <laughs> They're like, yeah. no, you got to look at it. You just put yourself in a different tax group. I'm like, 
fuck? I know, I know next year. I know next year that I get anywhere from between. It's like every year a two to three percent raise, right? And then you go like I go on, online to like, you know what? You know, to calculate that, find out what it's going to be, and then I look at it like, yeah. Oh, that's great with the top number. That's before tax number. It's great. But then you look at the one we're actually going to get. How much of that you're going to get? And you're like, oh, no, I'm just pissing in the wind, just getting my pants wet. <laughs> like, I, great. No, I can yeah. go. You know, I can take the kids to McDonald's one extra time. Great. <laughs> but uh, besides all that, what else is going on, fellas? Not much, man. I'm hammered. Chris, are you allowed to have a beer? Yeah, but I don't have one here. Jack and Coke. Oh, your wife I've got at the house. Your wife can go get you some. Tell her right? to get one. Just tell her to go get it. Be a good girl. <laughs> Isn't that what y'all do? Yeah. Come on, Pam. Do your job. <laughs> go where? Get your man a fucking drink. That's where. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I can't see the chat anymore. What did, <laughs> what did Chris just write in the chat? She just called you a douche. Chris, I'm not going to say that. What you yeah. wrote in the chat, I'm not going to say that to her. Chris, I'm sorry, but I don't... I'm not, I don't agree with the statement that your wife is making about you right now, but there are some pieces falling into place on the puzzle. Yeah. We see who's got the pants on. We see. Uh, are you doing night shifts, Chris, or are you just straight up normal 12 hours? I'm on days. Okay. Oh, really? Do you have to work? Oh, you probably have to work tomorrow then, don't you? Yep. Oh, damn. That sucks. You work all the way extra. to Sunday. Do you get paid extra? <laughs> that was a good joke. I know the answer. <laughs> you know what, though? Here's the thing. Um, like, I go to work every Monday, but Sunday is usually my big. And you guys have seen me on Fridays. Uh, Sunday, believe it or not, is actually my biggest drinking day. Every day is your big drinking day, it seems like. No, I've yeah. actually... I keep it down Bob, to Fridays and Sundays. Bob, let's talk about this. Me and Chris were talking, and this is the perfect place to have this talk. <laughs> um, there are better ways of coping, my friend, than to open a, a bottle or, or, you know, pour yourself a shot. You know, why don't you call Chris, and you guys can have a passionate talk about, you know, all life's problems, and you don't have to drink then. You both have a couple of laughs, and they, look, we're not telling you what to do, buddy. We're just telling you what's healthier for you. You know, let's cut down on the drinking and enjoy life a little bit more, huh? What do you say? <laughs> no, no I'm shot right to now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all <laughs> it's a swig of beer. That's all I got. Uh, and I got uh, some Jameson and Diet Dr Pepper here. Oh, um, you're st oh, you're stuck oh, on shit. that. Bro, she heard you. <laughs> You're welcome. Not, well, yeah. You're welcome, buddy. Oh. You're, welcome. You're welcome. Chris, Chris, Cheers. take a swig. Swig, bro. Your first Cheers. nourishment. Hey, all week. hold on, hold on. Cheers. 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 Your first nourishment all week. How does that feel, brother? Uh God damn. Hold on. Is that an MGD? No, nah, it's a Bex. Uh, okay. Uh you can tell we're all American because we're all drinking gold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, 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 diff just different brands. <laughs> oh, no. You know what I could have went for? I might today. have to get some PBR, though, next time. Oh, I love PBR. Me too. Um, I thought I had Coors downstairs, and I really had a, a hankering for a couple of Coors lights. Nah, they're not downstairs anymore. I drank them. Didn't realize I drank them already. <laughs> I had uh, the Cowfland by me. They had uh, they have MGD Tall Boys and Coors Light Tall Boys. That's where I get them at. I bought a bunch of the uh, both of them. We crushed uh, last week, and I had like the last Coors that I had. Oh fuck! I got the hiccups. <sighs> My friend Bobby. Seriously, drunk. fucking me, dude. <laughs> That's all. You know what? For the people that are that have been listening and following us from the beginning. This is nothing new. This is yeah. every fucking episode. Yeah. This However, new. for the live streamers, and I see the numbers dropping off. We just went from six to four people, people. 
So <laughs> we must be doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking yeah. the math doesn't lie, guys. No, there's there's five on there, isn't there? It says four. Oh, you're right. Four. Well, I I Chris came on, the numbers dropped. We'll figure that out. What the fuck? <laughs> and I didn't even call anybody a cunt yet. So like, it, like I, don't even, I don't get it, man. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm actually, uh, and I'm actually one of the viewers in there. So, so is what it is. Yeah, but it is, it is what it is, man. Everything's, everything's, uh, every week is different. Every week is more drinking. Uh, I guess we could talk about current events, but I don't want to because they all revolve around what no, I don't want to talk don't. about. So let's move on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do current events either. What They're are you fucking guys... so sad and depressing. Chris, what do you got planned for Christmas? Uh, obviously, you got to work tomorrow. Do you got to work the whole weekend? The whole weekend? So yep. Sunday, he said. That fucking sucks. My kids come on Sunday. Pam's picking them up Sunday morning. They get to go eat. I'll be sitting at work. Wait, stop. Damn. You don't get your kids till Sunday? Yeah. Bro, you're American. The 25th is the most important day. He has to work. It doesn't fucking matter. Oh, I know. It's pretty, do I need to go get your kids for you? Is that what I need to do? No. I'm we can make it I'm happen. Like, I know where they are. I'm going to go get them for you, bro. Fucking Dave and I will them. roll out hard as fuck. I know where they are. The 25th. I'll go. And I'll be like, listen here, ma'am. You may be an inch taller than me, but listen. Look me in my eyes. <laughs> inch would be you. good. <laughs> she <laughs> might be a foot taller than us. Let's be real. <laughs> no. I think your ex might be six one, right? Six foot? Uh, no. I'm six foot. And she's five centimeters taller than I am. Bro, you're not six foot. Are you so. serious? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, I believe it. Chris is actually, I'm 5'10 something, and Chris is taller than me. I don't believe you. I do. Um, I know for, I, I remember that. I know that. Yeah. I just know that my arms are bigger than his neck. So Actually, I, I do have something funny for the podcast. Uh, this past Sunday, I was literally a kilometer away from Chris. Yeah. And <laughs> I wanted to go, like, I was like, oh, my God, this dum-dum sent me his location. I'm going to go crash wherever he's at. <laughs> yeah, you sent me yours, and I'm looking, I'm like, that shit said feverish. What the fuck? Yeah. Were you at home, Chris? No, I was at a Christmas party for some people from work. Oh, you definitely should have went, Bobby. I but wanted been, to so bad, but my wife was like been a super fun ruiner and wouldn't let me. Yeah. Because yeah. the alcohol didn't come out until like easily an hour after we had already started writing. Oh, wow. If we, if we were and a gay couple, I would have went with you, Bobby. my wife said something. <laughs> if we were a gay couple, I would have went with you, Bobby. It would be, be fun. It would be fun. It would be. So if we were a gay couple, who would be... Who? Oh, I'm a gorilla. So yeah, I'm you're gonna definitely go. going to be the catcher. <laughs> Bob, Bobby's at power bob bottom. <laughs> Actually, I, I couldn't see me as a power bottom. <laughs> you oh. like that man pussy, son? Oh. <laughs> like just, <laughs> just, scream, <laughs> just screaming awful shit at you. <laughs> trying to get it over with as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> or prolong it however you go <laughs> no, <whatever. laughs> oh wow this went off the rails but it's fine yeah, it's normal for us so that's the whole point of this podcast man like that's what no, i no, love no. about it now it was sh- fun it's a hang that dude. was fun it's Wait, a hang i got something i got something that's fine okay i'm the bigger guy everybody gets it <laughs> how would it be between you and chris i'd fucking own him in less than a minute <laughs> <laughs> bro no you might be taller, but I'll grab you by the throat and be like, dude, you're taking this dick. <laughs> you already heard about the gag reflex, uh, so that should be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck God gagging. I'm going to make him puke all over me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be a millionaire on fucking Grinder because of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so why didn't your wife want to go, Bobby? No, we were we were, they were busy doing we were doing something over there. Mm-hmm. Um, and Bobby, of course, was getting drunk. 
No, I was I was driving. I was completely sober. And were you out in the woods? Is that what you posted on Instagram? No, we were right on the Rhine, directly on the Rhine. Hmm. Because I think I saw what your wife posted on Instagram or something, one of the videos. Mm -hmm. Okay. We yeah. were directly on the Rhine. It was nice. Yeah. It was actually really cool. It was a yeah. sweet place. There's a castle there. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, we actually want to go back uh, when it's daylight and walk around and look at shit. It was cool. Yeah. It was worth it. It was only, not. It didn't even take us an hour to get there. Yeah, Chris Just don't walk come. that. Don't walk that far away from the castle though, because that's where the Greeks and the Turks have gotten into brawls multiple times. Like, I'm talking street brawl, like, charging each other with two by fours and Bobby's shit like a, that. Bobby's a peacemaker. He would have worked it out. Yeah. Dude, right. I'm, I'm from Cleveland. Like, you think I'm afraid of some fucking Turks and Greeks with two by fours? Fuck that shit. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I remember the second grade, too, pussies. <laughs> <laughs> remember when i came in a sock for the first time <laughs> chris <laughs> chris slow down on that beer buddy uh, <laughs> weigh 45 kilos one of those beers is gonna put you i don't out. weigh 45 <laughs> kilos actually bullshit next time next time you're up this way i want you to stand on a scale like i want to see who weighs more you or my wife how much you weigh chris uh, last time I weighed myself, I was 70. I really? You. Yes. Oh, wow. I remember last time we were on, we were talking about how much we could drink because we wanted to do the, uh, the drunk Olympics and you said you were 81. So it shows me. No, he I wasn't. Was, I like would never say he was I like would never say I was that much. Bro, stop covering. Forward. I've never Listen. been that high. No, no. Please, Pam, please feed him. Please. I beg Chris, you. Did, you said <laughs> you were like 63 or something like that. Yeah. Normally I'm between 63 and like 67 at the max. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm slowly losing my friend. Watching him whittle away. <laughs> I've always been this skinny. <laughs> I still want to do those Olympics, fellas. I think it would be a blast. I oh, it would be yes. hilarious. But getting tore up at 10 a.m., the responsible thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm looking, I want to do Edward 40 hands so bad. I want to, that would be a first Olympic sport. Who, who can drink the most without going to the bathroom? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, you know what, though? I can hold it for a while, but as soon as I pee, that's it. I'm going to be pissing for like. <laughs> 45 seconds or it's whoever or you put the 40s on the hands yeah and whoever finishes them first wins that's usually but, how it is yeah but then you get to also wear the adult diaper at the same time oh then i'll fucking go. crush you guys yeah if i have an adult <laughs> diaper on i'll win whatever event you throw at me and if we have adult diapers on we're taking photos that is yeah. a must actually i really wish my buddy our um who was in the chat last uh thing mike he as a joke one time bought people adult diapers he wore them and got so drunk and wanted to actually use them use them and it was hilarious i mean who doesn't it's like convenience you know yeah you don't have to worry about where the bathroom is or any of that stuff it's bathroom's no. always with you like you could be sitting there like having a hangout like just having a good chat with a solid dude and be pissing all over yourself and <laughs> nobody's wiser to it you know what i mean <laughs> you just have that look of satisfaction on your face and your body. Yeah, just oh. <laughs> missing right now, aren't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> or nope. <laughs> Bro, did you just fill your Deuce. diaper? Deuce. Yep. <laughs> uh, hey, that's that's why uh I give major props to people who work in like nursing homes. Or who work in like you know hospitals or whatever yeah absolutely because it's one thing to change baby diapers it's another thing to change an adult diaper that's like oh it's adult size turds that's like, like you know how and it's funny because you know how like some babies are just like all crazy moving around and stuff like that as you're trying to change them guess what 80 year olds do the same exact thing but they're just a lot bigger <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Oh man, 
I swear I almost spit all over. <laughs> just with uh, the saddlebag titties, just going at it. Yeah. Uh, uh, just pushing <laughs> shit everywhere. Hey man, those people are severely underpaid too. They, are they really are, man. Underpaid, like severely. Like I know um, they raise the um, the um, minimum wage right. here a few years ago. Um, but it's still not shit. Like it's, no. it's better than some areas. However, man, when you think about it and you think the cost of living and the way tax, the whole tax situation is over here, it ain't nothing. It no, is it's not. awful. It's not. Um, no, it's also the people who do, I would say people who do security, people who work at mm-hmm. like, um, you know, like a hospital nurse or hospital nurse helpers, the helpers, I don't know what they're called, but um, the ones who are just basically there to clean up our people working in ocean homes, just those people deserve more money. They really do. Cause it's yeah. a job that uh, quite frankly, I, I couldn't do I, with smells. No. There's no way I, I just can't. I'm too um, germaphobic. Like, yeah, I have a hard time going into hospitals. Like Dave, I remember when uh, a couple of years ago, when I came and saw you in the hospital, mm-hmm. um, I, immediately like basically took like a disinfectant shower before i got mm-hmm. in the car and as soon as i got home i took a shower like i didn't even say hi to anybody like oh how's everything go-? i'm like we'll talk in five minutes i went up and i took a shower because i don't if i walk into a hospital if i see somebody like sick i'm fucking i got that i have it whatever they have i have it like Speaking we're here that, on Zoom. Like, if one of you guys started puking right now, like, say, like, oh man, I don't feel good, and start puking, I'm joining you. I promise. Going, me too. Me I too. will join you as soon as I hear that. I'm going. Oh no. Yeah, my problem it gets in my head, and I can't yeah. stop myself. It just keeps <laughs> exactly like my youngest is such a dick about it too. She does it just to mess with me. Like, there's like sometimes she'll be like, oh, daddy, I don't feel so good. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, how's your belly feeling? But I keep my distance. You know, I kind of push her away a little bit. I'm like, oh, you know, that sucks. You know, talk to your mommy. And she starts going, uh, I'm like, eh, stop it. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't do it. You know, one of the things we just talked about wearing the adult diapers, I just realized that I pissed in front of both of you guys. When you guys came to visit me in the hospital, I said, oh, yeah, you had a catheter in. A catheter in. And I can't remember which one of you assholes was like, Dave, you don't know it, but you're pissing right now. I can't remember. Who <laughs> it sounds uh, like me. Yeah, it could have been. <laughs> Oh, your bag's filling up. Like, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> and I remember, man, I was so afraid when they went to take that out. I thought it was going to hurt. I swear. But it didn't. It just kind of, you know. It feels weird, though. It does. Actually, I had a, um, I don't, I don't know how far a catheter goes in you. Mm. That's a question for another day. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I think no it just either. goes to the bladder. Um, it, it I have would, a, yeah. I have a kidney stone problem. And they put in sometimes what's called a stent and it goes all the way up into your kidney, right? Mm -hmm. It is, it's not, it's not the greatest when it comes out, but it's not like, it's not bad, but it not great. (laughs) Let me tell you a weird feeling sitting on the toilet to take a shit while you still have a catheter in. That's a weird (laughs) feeling. That is a very, very weird feeling because you, you, you like, okay. I got I got business going on in the back door, but normally I'm and you know you have to, you know tuck or or let it hang you know so it doesn't you know fly. yeah you don't piss inside the crack in the seat or whatever, uh, or you don't fucking rub your shit on the toilet. I can't do that. It's gross. So, uh, but you got this catheter and you're like, wait, what am I? What's going on here? How do I? What the fuck? Or when you have to tell somebody to come help you wipe your ass is not a very pleasant feeling, either. So. Been on both those before. Or almost stumbling and falling and ripping your catheter out. It's also not fun. So, yeah. No. So those were my fears. Or when I had that needle in my lung and they were draining out my lung and I had to make sure that that machine always stayed in front of me because if it went behind, there's a chance I could have fell down as well and ripped that out from between my ribs, which also would not have been pleasant. So I've been through all those. It's quite a crazy feeling. Uh, let's all hope that none of us end up in those situations for a very, very long time. Yeah, no. 
I just canceled my surgery today. To be oh, the one that we were talking about to get snipped. Yeah. Yep. yep. So okay. Yeah. And now I remember why now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. No reason to do it then. No reason. <laughs> no. Nope. So, <laughs> so when you move on from your wife and hook up with that Chinese hooker, then you can have to worry about getting, getting exactly. your pregnant Bobby. <laughs> Not my problem, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I just, uh, I don't want to get it done because I've always wanted to push somebody down a set of stairs. So that's the only reason why. <laughs> I almost got him. Look at Chris going to spin it all over his phone. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just kidding, guys. Man, <clears throat> Chris, Chris, I was told that you had one of the most interesting stories we've ever had in the pod. When you talked about your time in the Middle East. Nope. <laughs> nope. This, this has already been talked about. Nope. <laughs> I just I mean it just came out like it was a menu card. So what about in like, China? China. Why does, why does that matter? Like I don't get it. Like let me let's talk about relationship stuff. Why does it matter about what you did before you met the oh, it doesn't matter. We've talked I mean, about it before. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. You were a whore. That's what you were, Chris. You you were a whore. You were with many women, and that's your choice, brother. You know? Yeah. With women, why you were with women. That's what you do. So and dudes. Damn. No. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Remember we were talking about that one MMF <laughs> that MMF uh situation y'all had going on? We're all friends here. No reason to be shy. Yeah. Uh, bro it's just the internet you don't have to hide it now we're not we're not streaming on twitch so don't even worry about it don't worry it's <laughs> only like it's only us that's watching <laughs> uh, i just find these stories fascinating because um when i was in the middle east i was actually fighting a war so i didn't get to go <laughs> i didn't get to go do these cool stuff so it's nice for me to hear even when i was fighting in war we still had stupid shit going on you and you I were in Kuwait? Iraq at the same time. How Actually, you? you guys, um, this last episode, yeah. this made me remind it. Um, this past episode, after I uploaded it, I said, pardon the anger. I announced that new segment that I want to do where we tell story, like we just kind of exaggerate them and whatnot. Uh, Randall actually reached out and said, we need to talk about jerking off in porta potties. Yes. yes. So we will have to. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to sit down and just really think how we can just really expand, like really make it extravagant and just fucking, you know, you want me to give you a baseline story right now? No, I want the fucking oh my god version. Well, well I'm bro, that spoil is it. super simple. I I can tell you. But no, I can, tell you. <laughs> I can make it so much better. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could. But uh, and that's like the whole point of the segment. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Chris, did you actually ever beat off in a porta potty? Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah. I think we all did at one point while we were in. Why Iraq. the fuck when you were staying at hotels? Why the fuck are you in a porta potty? I was, what the fuck, man? I'm talking, god damn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so to set the record straight, I was in Iraq he was. at the same time as Dave, and then he I was. volunteered. Since when is fucking Kuwait, Iraq? That's what I was just about to say, dickhead. <laughs> I, I can't serve. <laughs> no. the, first time, the first time I was in Iraq, the second time I volunteered for a deployment to Kuwait, which was definitely not a deployment. So, but I can't, I can't verify. I make fun, but Chris was. There's a uh, was. There's somebody on the live stream right now called Whiskey Delta. Thanks for joining us. And ask what year were you guys in Iraq? Oh three to oh four. Same. I was never. Yeah, we know. Out of health reasons, I can't serve. Uh -huh. That's fine, dude. I'm fucking. I'm diluting Russian blood. That is what. That's the service I'm doing for my country. Yeah. yeah. 
she's uh, gonna watch this and say i'm such a con <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was uh, early days, definitely. Um, right at the beginning, so May for me, I think it was May fifteenth of '03. I don't even remember. Oh, see, I remember that we got involuntarily extended. Yes, that sucked nuts. <laughs> I remember for, being told for that. us it was like three days before we were supposed to convoy back home. <laughs> Connexes are all packed up. The Connexes yeah, are all man. packed up. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, when we get back, we're going to do this, that, and the other. And then our fucking shitty first sergeant, and I hope he watches this somehow, <laughs> bag of shit comes out and tells us, oh, we got extended three months. Um, you know, you just got to suck it up and drive on. Worst shit you can ever tell a bunch of. Yeah, that's, that's close to what we had too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just got suck us all it up around. And drive on. Got us all oh. around now. I don't want to hear any fucking complaining. <laughs> but <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> exactly. Dex, def, and, and it's it's one of those things to where you know military discipline sets in, and there's really not much you can do. You, it's not like you can hop on a car and get out of there. So, um, yeah. but we did we did see a, a reason why we were extended, though. Like I want to say a week later, the idiots from First Cav fucking cleared a rocket launcher which you don't do, but he had it turned backwards and it fucking fired over the entire freaking fob, man. Uh, oh, to be on a fob. That must have been nice. <laughs> you really had a luxury go of it, though, Chris, if we're honest. Not really. The second one, yes. The second one, I was... That was, that was awesome. I'm glad I volunteered for it. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I can't believe... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> um yeah it's one of those it's one of those things to where if you are jerking off in a porta potty for me it wasn't um it wasn't to the point to where i'm like um i'm in it for any kind of like for me it wasn't like any <laughs> kind of pleasure i was just in it to get it out so people didn't die that was kind of <laughs> what it was for me um i don't do smells which made it, me have to find a clean porta potty yeah like um, it's early in the morning, right early after the, the cleaning morning. crew. <laughs> I'd be cleaning crew. beaten off, like behind the porta potty, next to her, just out in the fucking open, man. There's no fucking way I'm jerking off inside a porta potty. I can't do smells. Like I can't just be sitting there beating my dick and be like, "Oh my god, this turd's helping me." No fucking way. <laughs> well, no, there's an art to it. Hold on, there's an art to it. Like you get used to what the smell of an actual porta potty is. Plus, they use some pretty strong shit in there. Oh. Um, that's why I'm saying you have to go early in the morning. Chris is right. Uh, for us, it was mid-afternoon um, when we knew it. And you would see a gangle of guys headed to the porta potties. There was like five of them together. Um, and, you know, you, it was funny is you can actually hear it. So if you think about it, it's going to sound a lot like <laughs> it's going to sound a lot. I don't have anything to jingle because you have your you still have your uniform on. Um, yeah, the dog tags. You have your dog tags. <laughs> and I don't have my uh, there's my dog tag hanging in here, holding up here. So you're definitely going to hear that clingle, a clingle sound. And you're going to know somebody's in there beating off. Plus, you still have to have your helmet. Um, like, in hot days, man, it's the worst. It must have been like 100 in there. Plus, you're in a porta potty, so that heat's in there. And you're just dripping sweat. And you got sweat coming off your brow. Best lubrication known to man is Iraqi <laughs> sweat on your dick. It's the absolute best lube known to man. You could buy Chris knows what I'm talking about. So so it really is a, a quick beat. Oh. You know, 60 seconds just to get it out. And yep. you know, where, where where it lands is where it lands. You know, that's how I was. Oh I was like, yeah, but like <laughs> oh see, that's even more fucked up, man. Cause like you could imagine, like, imagine you just blew all over a toilet seat, right? And you see your buddy like oh. Oh, I got the bubble guts running in. You're like, dude, you just set my cum. Ha 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 ha. Bobby. Bobby, what are you, a savage? No. Yes. You turn towards the door. You don't beat towards the actual where the shit is. What's wrong with you? You turn around. Uh, not comparable to a porta potty beat, but there Bro. was also us beating off in tanks. That also happened. Um, what I called is the strap sit down beat. Was we Talk had about shell shock. <laughs> we had like a personnel carrier at one of our guard towers, and you sat halfway in it, and there was a 50 cal on it. So you sat halfway in it. Um, and if you put the strap down low enough, it was only your upper body. 
So you basically would just pull your trousers down, pull your pants down a little bit, pull your piece out, and then you beat off. And when it, it when you blew, you basically blew <laughs> into the tank, and it was just in there. You didn't tell anybody. You crawled back out to the top of the hatch. Okay, what in our tank? <laughs> exactly. Eventually, the actual owners of the tank, which was another company that was with us, would have to come and get stuff out of there. And of course, I wasn't the only one who beat off in the tank. So there were also other people in there. So. Uh. Yeah, it's just a, it was, it was fun for them because they were pissed, but it's life goes on. Yeah. But it's, it's definitely a hot, quick beat. I don't know anybody who was in there for an extended amount so, of time. On the live chat, Whiskey Delta is saying on the hottest day, you're sweating. The porta potty is full of shit. The heat is warming up everything. So you got to knock it out fast. And he said, beat off in uh, Sangers or guard towers, Sangers, yeah. Sangers, yeah. guard towers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. You do it wherever you could. Yeah, but you got to get it out. You can't oh. be walking around with a loaded gun like that. Listen, and like I told you, we we shared a, where we were at. We shared a we were in a palace. So in our palace, it was like forty guys sleeping there, maybe thirty five guys, and we all shared one bathroom. Oh. So yeah, you found different you found different ways to get it out. Listen, Dave's seeds been spilled all over the world. Like, <laughs> all over. So- Whiskey Delta just said, funny how the best stories we have from Iraq is just beating off. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm oh. going to be honest with you. I wasn't in Iraq, but however, that holds true to most of my best stories as well. <sighs> but here's a cheat code. See, I don't know. He said he was in 07, I think he said. He's um, a Brit, though, too. That's fine. But those, those guys, cool guys. 07, yep. 07 don't know if you had the technology to carry porn with you but we did not so it was all up here it was all up here in 03 to 04 that's or, what i mean man you guys or, are jerking off stale fish to turds we were not son my <laughs> girl my my wife sent me a penthouse stories book nice penthouse stories book so you know i just recycled stories and went with them and knew what did it for me and then i got got to the end point <laughs> That's how that worked out for me. Or or you were kind and you left a nudie mag up in the top right corner of a porta potty because it's usually a ledge. So you can leave one up there. If you trust your buddy. A lot of trust going on there that nobody busted on the pages. <laughs> oh imagine like go in the next oh, time, like the next page is the best one and it's just stuck together. <laughs> Son well, of a bitch. Well, you couldn't do anything if you're pouring sweat, so you're gonna have drip marks on there. You just have to trust that those drip marks are actually sweat. <laughs> And not come. Oh God! But you were going stale fish. Like there was no. Th- Some guys brought bought lotion, but that's just too much to carry. No, to see, honest. stale fish means you're doing. You're. St- I know what it means. I said most guys are going stale fish. Yeah, but some guys brought lotion with them. But no, no, no. Not- Jerking off stale fish means with no material, like nothing to get to enhance the. Like well, no kind of a dry or nothing. For me, stale fish means a dry beat. Yeah, no, that's not what that means. That's a dry beat. That's not. I what was doing a dry beat, except for my sweat and tears. As I slowly, <laughs> slowly cried while I masturbated. Can't believe this was my life at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I told Chris, you guys about the guy that fell in love with the the Iraqi chick, though, right? I know. I think I've told you that story before. Where the dude bought a fucking diamond ring for her and proposed after he got back from IR or from uh R and R. No. Yes. This dude came back after two weeks of being gone, back to the States, and came over to our table, was like all excited. I'm like, what's going on? And he opened up the box and it was this fucking big ass diamond ring. And he goes, I'm gonna propose to her. We're like, oh. who? He goes to the chick at the coffee shop. We're like, all right, good luck, buddy. Good luck. He walked up. We're like, this dude is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is going to sound inappropriate, but this is something we used to talk about. Fuck it, I'm prior military. That's what we used to talk about. There is a severe drop-off for Iraqi girls. There is a severe drop-off at a certain age. Chris, back me up on this. Back me up on this. Girl. Like what Turkish girls too. <laughs> <laughs> Once they hit thirty, fuck that noise. You don't want nothing of it. 
ding, ding, dong. Like they could go from a 10 to a three in a matter of a year. And it's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> there was, there was a couple of girls there. You're like, oh. oh my goodness. Right. So anywhere in the world, beautiful women everywhere in the world. Right. And every woman has her own beauty. Okay. Let's go ahead and say that now. So it's not too inappropriate, but speak for yourself, but severe drop. I don't know if it's Chris, what, what age would you put on that? Would you put an age on that? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's just one of those things you notice as you're, you're driving around. Dude, uh, we Chris, were lucky. We had the university in our sector and we had to go there. That was like the highlight. Like, oh. Yeah, but girls we weren't allowed to week? go to university there. Oh, they were going. Oh, they were. They oh, they that's right. Kuwait's one. different. I'm not talking about Kuwait, <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> uh, China, China's different. <laughs> so I was deployed to China. I know you weren't. Uh, <laughs> the Navy actually gets to those dickheads. They've got electricians in the Navy that are deployed to Beijing and they work for the fucking consulate. I talked to a couple of them and these assholes are like, yeah, we're going, we go golfing like every day. We maybe do an hour work. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, well, that's a, that's a great place to be. I would have liked to have uh, been someplace else. Besides, I would have liked to have gone to China. I'm actually jealous you got to spend some time. Oh, there. good for China you. was awesome. Yeah. Uh, I missed out on it. I'm trying to find um, real quick. Um, just to put a little bit of oh good for you it seems to be working there Bobby <laughs> uh, were any of you guys in Afghanistan nope nothing. no 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 did that one. okay nope Randall was for a photo shoot for a photo shoot <laughs> I'm clipping this and sending it to him, <laughs> I, tell him I tell him that all the time bro he has some awesome stories though and dave knows one of the guys too you know paul right yes yes they tried to sell him they what they they literally tried to sell him while they were in afghanistan nice (laughs) uh but no i tell randall that all the time he was down there and uh I'm trying to think. I want to say it was like maybe two, two and a half months into it. They actually put his photo on uh, the army website when you, what we used to have to log into our email. They would always pop up photos. Right. And I was going in one day and I was going to check my email and all of a sudden I saw the photo. I'm like, hold on a second. I'm like that's, that's fucking Randall. <laughs> Soldier of the year. Shortly after that, they came back and got paid for it, which is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> um, interesting. I hope to, I don't know, this is going to be a little, not off topic, but it would be cool for me, you know, like Vietnam veterans, like they go back to Vietnam and like check out where they used to, you know, fight and stuff like that. I'd love to be able to do that in Iraq one day. I at least look on Google Maps every and Google Earth every now and then. Funny that you mentioned that because this is where I was at. I slept in this palace right here. It's a shit photo from Google Maps, but it is what it is. Uh, that's where I was. Um, pretty cool. Where the actually. fuck is it? That is, I'll, I'll bounce out a little bit. Um, ah, okay. Yeah. So I was in Otomia. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, for those of you who've listened to the pod for a while, approximately right here is probably where dave's gigantic piece of shit is still laying right here these were actually when the water <laughs> drains down it's actually dry through here and uh we used to have the landmines in there and you'd have to go in there and take a shit when i first got there no joke um and actually they still have the pool which is kind of cool that was a pool that we had the iraqis clean out and then that's where we got to swim occasionally when we were not doing other things so, yeah, uh, long story short, some of Dave Siemens probably still around here. Somewhere. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Whiskey Delta just 
this dude just made my night. I kind of want to have him on the pod one time. Uh, he asks, when Chris says he didn't deploy to Afghanistan, is it because he deployed next door to Pakistan like he did in Kuwait? <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Fucking Whiskey Delta. You get a round of applause, my man. Uh, <laughs> uh, so good. I feel bad that people pick on our little brother. Uh, motherfuckers. <laughs> Chris, I'm, I have respect for you because when you put the uniform Shut the fuck up. Boots, <laughs> boots. He said, Kev- just trolling Kev- respect, wrist. brother. Um, <laughs> When you put on those plates and everything else, your uniform a year probably weighs more than you do. (laughs) (laughs) I picture somebody dragging you by the back. The best story that I remember with Dave back when he was still in the army was the day that we tricked our buddy into thinking that there were actual fucking thigh plates. Who was this? It was you. And we tricked Paul. Really? Well, it sounds like something I would do. So I'm, I'm <laughs> we were we were sitting there and we had these side plates, and it literally it looked like a oh, side yeah. plate for Dave. <laughs> and he had it on his lap. And he, our buddy walked in there and he goes, "What's that?" Dave, without missing a beat, goes, "Bro, those are those new thigh plates that we just got." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "I didn't get those. I'm gonna have to go call them." I'm like, oh my god, like, you better you better hop on it before they run out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He's a good guy, but definitely gullible. Definitely gullible. Uh, hey, we also talked about the last one where we went out to the strip clubs in Germany, Chris. And somebody was asking me, didn't they? Didn't you have to buy like the special special money at the beginning when you walked yes. in? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. We went. That to was part of the fee. Yeah, what were they called? Platinum dollars or platinum? Yes. They've got them different different dollars, but where that that night that we went with the fucking van, <laughs> we're not going to say what it was, but with the van, <laughs> Humvee. That no, was, no, no, it no, was fuck a, no. <laughs> it was definitely an army vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those were platinum dollars. Yeah, I thought so. Because I remember when I got done with the reserves, I had like a lot of them still because <laughs> ah, the bitches wouldn't leave us alone, man. Oh, do you want to go to a separate room with me? No, I don't. I'm going to go home and cry and masturbate. I don't need you to (laughs) give me blue balls at the same time. That was a night both Chris's fell in love. Do you still talk to that girl? What the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Is she on your Facebook profile? (laughs) God damn. Pam just left the live stream and she stuck to Chris's. <laughs> give me your logins right now. <laughs> Christopher, give me your phone. <laughs> uh, Chris could be sound asleep at three in the morning. She's going to hit him with a fucking <laughs> smack him in the face. Who's this bitch? <laughs> I, would say, I would say you got a good one there, Chris. You seem pretty happy, man. Lately, oh, I am happy. A lot better than I was before. Oh, that's what not, matters, man. It's all about progress pretend. and moving forward. Let's not pretend yes. you didn't have some happy moments then, too. So, you know, yeah, there were. Cheers, but to not you, like though. this. It's good. Cheers yeah. to you, man. I'm happy for you, honestly. We make a lot of jokes here, but we're all friends, and we all want the best for each other <clears throat> most of the time. Uh, so, I'll be sketchy sometimes, but. Yeah, but we're used to it. It's it's fine. I'm in it for the giggles. You can take the boy out of Cleveland, but you can't take Cleveland out of the boy. No, sir. Thank <laughs> fucking God you can't. That's, that smell of dirty hot dog water and hot spit, it ain't leaving. In fact, I'm actually wearing a shirt from Cleveland today. That's my actually buddy, cool, man. That's my like buddy Mike. It says uh it's his company, Charlie's Charlie's Wood Shop. Mm. Out of Lakewood, Ohio. Mm. Yeah, your shirt looks like it fits. Mine fits. Chris's. Probably Oversized. Sons. It's his son's. It's not my son's. <laughs> Dude, if it was his son's, he'd be swimming in it. It's his son's like six times bigger than him. I can't wait till we have a cookout and your son's over there and he smacks you again like last time I was <laughs> <laughs> When the fuck did he hit me? <laughs> when the fuck did he ever hit me? 
<laughs> I'll never forget it, man. He was like, ain't how you cook he it. <laughs> because you were like, oh, son, is this how you want your burgers? And he was like, bitch, ain't how you cook a burger. And he fucking oh, yeah. That's definitely not whatever happened. <laughs> you fucking I glasses. said relish, bitch. <laughs> your fucking glasses were cockeyed. I'll never forget uh. it, man. <laughs> That's, you know, I had a talking with him, though. I was like, I know he's small, but you can't just beat him up all the time. Uh, motherfucker. Hopefully, Hopefully it straightened things out for you, man. It's what friends it do. was that black guy that almost got Chris a purple heart. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the time he was oh. in Iraq. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, it's fun, guys. I love Chris, this. All jokes aside, did you drive into Iraq or did you guys fly in? Uh, we drove up from Kuwait and drove yeah. back down to Kuwait. Right, same here. That's where my buddy got fucked up, man. Some douchebag in a really large vehicle in a Hemet fell asleep. The convoy stopped, and he actually felt the Hemet bumper in his back. Oh, shit. Yeah. The first three months, three, four months, he was laid up on muscle relaxers and pain pills. That doesn't sound fun at all. Good friend of mine, uh, Lift his Humvee on the way up, on the drive up, fell asleep. Fuck, um, man. Our genius leadership thought it would be a good idea to leave at 6 o'clock at night after we've been in the blazing heat all day with no AC. Because you can definitely nap in that. Um, <laughs> so he drove up, basically hit a, a, a like a dune, like a sand dune. And he had a trailer on the back with full of the mechanics equipment. Basically all the wrenches, everything. Super heavy. And when, it, when the trailer hit the dune... It flipped the Humvee over on the side and then slammed it on the side and he hurt his back. They didn't believe him for months that his back was hurt and they thought he was just trying to get out of duty until the only way to prove this was he started pissing and shitting himself at night and they thought he was just afraid um, until he went to a nurse. So finally, a, she was a, a, a doctor, whatever, but not a real doctor, like the in-between. Um, like, like a nurse practitioner. Again. Right. Um, and she was like, well, are you, he's like, yeah, my, my, my area is going numb at night. I can't feel anything. Um, she was quite attractive, and she started tugging on his piece. Nothing happens. And we hadn't seen women. This is an all-male unit. We hadn't seen women in months. So if a woman would have tugged on my piece three or four times, I might have busted one. I just feel like I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It would have been um, nights out, game over. So they finally believed him. Mm -hmm. He ended up <clears> having <throat> to have surgery to put a rod in his back. He ended up just retiring. He stayed in still. Normally, when they do that, they boot you out, but he fought it, man. He stayed in, didn't get a medical discharge, and fought it all the way through. So, you know, people, stupid thing, it's not just, some people think, oh, people just get blown up or shot there. No, there's accidents that happen all the fucking time. It's mm -hmm. easy to have them. So, luckily for me, man, I made it through unscathed, I think. I don't know, I still got some issues, but don't we all? So, once you get done with the reserves, Chris, are you going to do the whole VA stuff? Yeah, I can do that now. I actually, but actually, no, I don't know how that works with me being on orders. It won't. You have to be completely out, completely. And then you can do it. Don't you worry. Oh, reserve I retire in either. three years. Yeah. When you get out, hit me up. We'll work through it. Yeah. Fix those problems you have. The tuck back issues on you, but the other stuff you can really work on. So you can tuck it back. Um, I don't mind. Pam wants to talk about my lines. How dare she? She's German. She doesn't get a choice in teams. So I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> oh, I like the Chiefs. No. Why do you like the Chiefs, Chris? You're from Cincinnati. I am not from fucking Cincinnati. Stop. You're I lived not? there for a portion of my life. A I big portion. There. It does not matter. What was the larger portion? This is where I'm being honest. What was the larger portion? <laughs> Cincinnati. Bengals, baby. I am not from. No, I'm not a Bengals fan. Nope. So they probably lived in Kentucky and commuted into Cincinnati no. every day. <laughs> no, I never lived in that shithole. <laughs> it's probably better than Cincinnati, bud. <laughs> from what I hear, and I'm from Cleveland. Um, That's saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's be honest, the whole state shit. So. Yeah, that's true. I'll, we'll, we'll agree on that one. Yeah. Butthole of America. No. At least the taint. Gotta be at least the taint. <laughs> Where? Ohio? No. 
It's an awesome it's too high up to be a taint. Do you taint. fucking like do you soldiers study anatomy and biology? Have you ever seen a human body? <laughs> yeah, we've seen one. We've seen one, Bobby. Uh, all right. Bobby folks. was about to make sure that we got canceled. <laughs> Here, let me show you the difference. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, guys. Um, before we go any further, actually, um, we do have a couple of viewers going on right now. I think we should tell everybody our pronouns. <laughs> No. Do, do, do what? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> uh, what is Chris's anyway? Chris is definitely a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. All oh, right, fellas. So good. Well, we have reached our usual magical mark when it comes to the pod. Yeah, we have. I was just gonna say, um, it is about that time where we uh start saying our goodbyes. And I think we'll still stay on Twitch for a little bit afterwards. Yeah, we can definitely do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um <laughs> <laughs> Chris just wrote in the chat that he hates us so much. Uh, <clears throat> I just feel so, like your big brother most of the time, man. I just want to protect you. <laughs> we're gonna um, we're gonna end the podcast here. Um, we'll continue to stream a little bit longer on Twitch. We'll see what happens. Um, but you guys know where you can find us now on Twitch, um, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google. Everywhere podcasts are available you for the audio version. Week. Forgot it last week, and I'll fill you in this week as well, Bobby. Pornhub. Pornhub, okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, we also are available on YouTube. Um, so check us out. Like, share, subscribe, please. This is fun for us. Uh, we have a good time. We're going to keep doing it no matter what, but it's better when more people come and have fun and share in the fun and antics with us so please, please spread the please, word absolutely please check out uh bobby's film on pornhub uh cleveland clams and chris's waiting <laughs> nights waiting nights definitely we i want to spread this podcast like chris does his lips so <laughs> let's get it going <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Uh, so, on that note, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you cunts next week. Bye! Better the lips than the cheeks. <laughs> <laughs>